wounded four others at the Sikh temple in Oak Creek. One of the people critically injured Oak Creek Police Lieutenant Brian Murphy. He was shot 15 times at point blank range while trying to save others and amazingly, he survived. And tonight we are honored to have him with us in our studio. Lieutenant Murphy, thank you for being here. Of course, we thank you for your service and, and for the community. And uh, how are you doing these days, not only physically, but also emotionally? I'm doing well in both phases. Uh, I'm probably at the plateau in my healing right now, uh, which still gives me limitations, obviously, as far as my voice goes and my hands and whatnot. And emotionally, I, I feel very good, uh, especially with the support of my family and my wife, the sea community and the city of Oak Creek. All those things have helped me to get uh, better a lot quicker in you, both phases. You were shot 15 times. Are you amazed that you survived? I was shot 17. 17, okay. I just found that out today. <laughs> okay. we, we got our uh, my vest back and there was an additional two shots in the vest that, that right? we didn't count. So it's kind of crazy when you talk about it to to, to actually sit there and say, yeah, I've, I've been hit 17 times. And mm. uh, overall, uh, you know, uh, things are things are going well and I'm happy. I'm just happy to be anywhere yeah, here in particular. Understandably. Uh, we brought the vest, you brought the vest along. We also okay. have Matt Davis with uh, Armor Express. Yeah. They, they make the vest. Uh, quick question for Lieutenant Murphy first. You know that the vest is there to save your life. I mean, you count on it. But then something like this happens. Are you amazed that it did do the job it was supposed to do? Yes and no. Okay. A yes in the fact that it, I got hit five times. And what truly amazed me with the vest is even after getting five sustained hits, I have no damage to my body mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, there's no marks. So to have that kind of... Uh, speed from the round come and do no damage at all uh, is very you know it's it's happy to say I'm good no because I actually was the one who awarded the vest and I picked out the best company available and I picked Armor Express knowing that their track record and how their vests are very well made Matt can you pick this up for us and just point to where the bullet sure. holes are and talk a lot of the makeup of this vest and what it is that saved his life absolutely so this is the front of the vest. You can see down in the left-hand corner here, we've got some arrows that show all the different impact locations of the uh, bullets. Uh, this one down here in the bottom left. Um, very would have hit him right here. Yeah, would have hit him right right there. Probably went, would have went through his kidneys. Uh, this one up here, just a little bit higher, probably possibly a lung shot there. Yeah, yeah, right, Definitely right, fatal right blows. Um, on the back, you can see the cover's torn a little bit. We have a couple up here in the shoulder, and then another one down here, which would have been uh, around the kidney. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, kidney shots are not easily survivable. So, well, what, you brought a you brought a fiber with you. Also, this yeah. is what we can't see inside the vest. Exactly. So th this fiber here, this is Tuaron uh, para aramid fiber. It's really the state of the art in high strength fiber technology. It's five times the strength of steel, if you can imagine that. Uh, it's very lightweight, and this is woven into fabric, which is then. As vest manufacturers, we then layer it into uh, different combinations of materials, and that becomes a bulletproof vest. And as you can see with Brian standing here, he's living testament yeah. to the fact that it works. Now, you mentioned that you selected this vest. Is this a standard issue, or is this an upgraded issue for various departments, or how do they decide what to use for their officers? Usually what, what happens is you, uh, you put out bids. You ask for what type of vest that you're looking for, level one, two. This is a level 3A vest. Um, and my chief, who's a big proponent of getting the best equipment to his guys, the best was slightly more than other bids, but we knew based on the track record that this particular vest, the, the Halo vest, is one of the better vests, and that's what we chose. The to, Halo to, vest? Halo, <laughs> very, very <laughs> apropos. So uh, I think if anybody had a Halo on, it was definitely me. Absolutely. That day. I'm going to ask you a question you probably answered a million times, but I, I think that you always want to know the perspective of people who've been through something like this. How has it changed your life? It's, you know, it, it's funny. It's a very positive thing, in as much as I got the opportunity to go a lot of different places to have my voice heard in, in certain situations. And more importantly, I think it gave me an appreciation for a lot of the smaller things in life and removed some of the cynicism that comes with being a law enforcement officer for 23 years. So overall, I, I think I don't sweat the small stuff as much anymore. Yeah. Um, and, and again, it, it helps that 
I have such a strong support system around, and I think now I appreciate them even more. Yeah, well, we really appreciate your coming in. It's an honor to meet you. You are a true hero. I appreciate you bringing me. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And thank you, Matt Davis, <laughs> as well, for joining us and educating us on the vest. Thanks. My pleasure. Thank you. you.